I got sent to New York in the late 1960s to go to an affiliates conference to see what it was all about. And it was just pretty much a straight business meeting, very few visuals, sort of dull. And the affiliates conference, you recall, was the meeting of the owners of our 200 and some stations with the network executives. But they did a show that evening, and the Gary Moore show was the show, and Carol Burnett was a girl singer. And she sang, I Made a Fool of Myself over John Foster Dulles, and the people loved it, and I met her, and she was just as nice as she could be. Then, shortly thereafter, within a year or two, they signed her up to do a series out of here. And the next time I saw her, she I was standing in our central corridor and the elevator door opened, that grease rack that I talk about that I used to have to get Marie Wilson up, and the door opened. And she said, I remember you, I saw you in New York. I said, yes. Yeah. She said, you heard of Continental Airlines, how they advertise themselves as the proud bird with the golden tail? I said, yes. She says, I understand some of the hookers on Hollywood Boulevard are spraying themselves with gilded paint so they can be called the proud tail with the golden bird. And I said, well, this show's gonna be fun. <laughs> And it was fun. And she picked up her red skeleton left off and said, don't take yourself too seriously. You gotta have a little bit of fun every day. This is, after all, the entertainment business. And if we don't enjoy it, who is going to enjoy it? The members of the crew loved her. It was just like a big family. The biggest thing about that show was we had a technician strike one time. And so management people got to perform the functions because they were live shows. You had to do one every week. And I was the technical director. And the people in the cast never did this, the, the same sketch the same way twice. Tim Conway and Harvey Corman would get to breaking each other up, and they'd laugh and giggle. They'd wander all over the stage. The cameras had to go with them. And, but it was fun. It really was fun. And obviously, the audience loved it, too, because the show ran 11 years.